Hello, my name is Anjani, and this is a video about making an herbal infusion using honey. So last week I made a video about making an herbal infusion with flowers, leaves, and hot water. And to put a cap on top of your herbal infusion to keep all the steam inside. So today we're going to talk about using honey as your medium to capture the essence of your flowers and leaves. So same thing with making the infusion with water, you're gonna take whatever combination of flowers, leaves that you feel called to working with. Roots, I'm not sure about. I feel like roots need to be broken down a little bit by hot water or alcohol. Um, look into that for yourself if you're thinking about using any bark or roots. I don't know if those would go so good in, an, in a basic infusion like this. I think they need a little bit more strength of either an, a solvent or, um, or boiling them down or something like that. So we're going to just be using leaves and flowers for these infusions that I'm talking about today for the best best effects of the plants. So the combination that I have here is the same combination from the video on the tea infusion because this is what I am personally working with right now. And this is canendula, rose, lavender, little bit of nettles, and raspberry leaf smells so good such a wonderful such a wonderful blend if you want the ingredients like the ratio for this particular blend leave me a comment and I will add that in I wish you could smell this it is really really amazing there's a lot of canendula in here this is sort of um, what I've been called to work with currently for some of my things so what you want to do is, depending on how strong you want your honey infusion to be, this is an example of one that it's about half, half plant matter and half honey. So all you're going to do is put the plant matter in the jar and then fill the jar up with honey. And you want to leave some space at the top because something that's really fun to do is um, I've been spending a lot of time just spinning and it's so meditative to watch this happen. You're just letting the, letting the materials move around and, and swirl it around. It's so relaxing actually. So um, this is not the same mixture as what I have in here. This one is for a client friend who... I'm making a different one. This hand is saffron, rose, and nettles. It's very simple. And then this is another, this one has a little bit too much plant matter in it and it's very, very thick and hard to spin around. So make sure that you are aware, this is so much plant matter in here and just make sure that you're aware of giving yourself enough lead way so you can move your honey around and swirl in the ingredients a couple of resources that i read said that you can put this up in the sun and you know just to let it kind of warm up a little bit in the sun i am not doing that because I just don't know about the sun and honey and how hot it's going to get. I live in Southern California and it's still pretty hot out here. And you don't want to heat up honey. This is raw local honey from uh, a place in Temecula, which is nearby to where I live. And I just want to keep it not hot. So I've been keeping it around my house and playing with it, rolling it, looking at it. Um, so the next thing you want to do when you're ready to be finished playing with your plants, um, between three and six weeks, I'm going to let this go for six because I like it to be stronger. The longer you leave it in your 
leave your plants in your honey, the thinner it's going to get. The honey will be more thin, but it's also more loaded with the nutrients and the essence from the flowers and the plants. So you're going to have one of these strainers with bigger holes than the mesh I was talking about for the tea. You're going to just put that on top of another jar and pour this in really, really slowly. And you might want to use a bigger container to catch if just depending on what size your strainer is, because this size strainer, I could pour the whole thing in and it's going to take a while for this to strain through. So you want to be able to make sure you have a big enough vessel to catch that and then something to put over it just to keep flies and dust and whatever else. You want to keep everything else out of that while the straining process is happening. And then once you're done, you can take your plant matter and add it back to the soil, put it to your compost, clean this off really good. You don't want to have any sticky debris left on there and you're done. Then you have that little jar of just pure medicine honey and you can use that to add to your tea. What I've done before with a plant honey is just eat it, like take it just like that. Um, Got to be aware of that because sometimes it can be too much sugar for your body. So follow your own intuition on that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please ask any questions, leave comments, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.